Hello, and welcome to Pico Tutorials. Today we will cover the user interface of the Pico client. When the client is open, we break it up into five areas. The navigation panel, which is at the top. The resource panel, which is on the left. The viewing grid, which is in the center. The notification panel, which is on the right. And the playback panel, which is on the bottom. Now let's start with the navigation panel. The navigation panel has your main menu in the top left, followed by any tabs that you have open, similar to Internet Explorer or Chrome. You have the ability to log in and log out of the Pico Cloud, followed by an interactive help button with the minimize, maximize, and close buttons to follow. Now let's look at the resource panel on the left. It's going to show you what system you're logged into, what user user you were logged in as, followed by servers and camera listings. Also on the resource panel, it shows any layouts you have, any video walls connected to your system, any web pages that you've added to Pico Client, all of the users associated with this system, and any local files that you have saved to your local PC. In the center is the viewing grid. As you drag and drop and move cameras from the resource panel into the viewing grid, those cameras will begin showing up. As you drag those cameras or double click those cameras to have them show up in the viewing grid, you will notice the playback panel is now available to you. The playback panel shows your current time, has a handful of buttons to either play or pause the recorded video. It has a bar to adjust the speed of the playback. It also has a timeline. And this timeline shows a very zoomed out view when you originally add your camera to the viewing grid. As you scroll up on your mouse, you will begin to zoom in on the area of where your mouse is located. And as you zoom in, you will get more and more granular with your time from hours to minutes all the way down to milliseconds. Now if I click anywhere on this timeline, the buffered video will begin playing and showing me any recorded footage at that time that I had picked. To finish off the playback panel, over on the right, you can adjust your sound. You can also click the live button, which will immediately jump any of your cameras that are in your viewing grid to the live feed. You have a synchronized button. What this does is disables or enables all of the streams to synchronize together. In the event you have multiple cameras in your viewing grid, this will either sync all of them up or keep some of them live and viewing recorded on only one of the cameras. You also have the ability to enable or disable any bookmarks that you may have set. You also have a calendar button here. Instead of going to the timeline, you have the ability to pick your months and your days, and the timeline will immediately adjust to any date or time that you pick. And finally, on the right-hand side, we have the notification panel. This is where events will show up in real time. Now these events could include hardware, camera, and or communication issues. These alerts could also include other integrated systems, for example, alarm and or access control events. And finally, at any time to help clean up the look of your client, you can minimize any of these panels to make it a cleaner view on your client. This was a general overview of the user interface of Pico Client. Thank you for watching Pico Tutorials. If you'd like to watch more how to videos around Pico, please click here for our tutorials channel. Or you can visit us at picovms.com for more documentation and downloads.